this is the algae room. And this is where we are growing algae to be able to feed the oyster seed and guidec seed that we're raising. The process in this room takes eight to 10 days in order to produce algae from a new sample to a large flask that is ready to inoculate a big tube downstairs. So we have five different species of algae that we're growing in here. They start out in these small flasks with some growth medium, some nutrients and whatnot that they need and they grow in here for about four days and then we will transfer each one of these small flasks and we'll split it into a new flask that has never been used before, new water and then the other half of it will go into a big flask. The air that's bubbled into here is augmented with a little bit more carbon dioxide because plants need carbon dioxide to grow. At the same time, um, whenever we do a transfer, we take a few drops and put them into a growth medium that will test to see if there's any bacteria in the sample. So all of the samples are labeled with the same labeling system as the flasks are so we can track how each sample is doing. After the small flasks have grown for about four days and they're transferred into the large flasks, which they'll grow for about another four or five days, then they will be transferred downstairs into the big tubes of water. This room is monitored for temperature because they're very temperature sensitive. We also monitor each day, several times a day, we come in and take the pH sampling of our large flasks just to monitor how the pH is changing throughout the day. If the samples are getting too acidic, we will decrease the amount of carbon dioxide that we're giving them, which uh, turns to acid if it's not being used. These flasks right here are covered with this kind of poofy top that is then covered with tin foil. Inside of there is some sterilized cotton. All of the samples in here, all of the growth medium, are autoclaved because we want to keep our samples sterile. And if they're not sterile, then we have to discard them and start a new sample to start growing. The cotton inside allows airflow in, but it will filter out any kind of bacteria that's going to try to colonize the flask. So eight to 10 days from a new small flask to a large flask that's ready to go downstairs and continue growing in order to feed the oyster seed and gooey duck seed that we're growing.